Hi guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so for this nail, we are doing a blue water breeze cocktail. So I really like the blues and the greens in this. And then we've got a pineapple and a cherry on there, which we're gonna we're gonna throw that in as well. So, Miss Kieran Davies, can I have your hand, please? So I've already done cuticle work. So coming in now with nail prep. And then our Ultra Bond Primer. Make sure you're using your primer sparingly. Just a little bit of that on there and then give that a couple of seconds to dry before you pop your base coat on, which is here. So for these colors in the Aura, I'm going to be using the Pastel Mint and the Pastel Blue. So work your base coat into the natural nail. And then when you're happy with that, that can go into the lamp for a cure. So I've already sized up my jaw form. It's the size four that we're going to be using. So the top of the nail wants to be blue, the bottom of the nail wants to be green. So I'm going to come in with my green first. Where's my spatula? Over here. So I've got my Aura spatula. So I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of the green. Oh, wow. It's nice though, isn't it? Really nice. Um, and that's going to be down this section of the nail. So I'm going to squeeze that into there. You need your slip solution. So I'm going to spread that out side to side, side wall to side wall. And then I'm going to bring that up the tip. We need to get that off so don't bring it up too high because we want it at half and half so once you're happy with that fade which that's looking pretty good and then going to bring any unwanted thickness down make sure that you've got ample thickness on your side walls as well so when you're happy with that, I'm going to give that, ooh, try not to drop it, I'm just going to give that a bit of a cure with the hand touch. Just because I don't want this slipping about when I put the blue on, I don't want this moving around. So when you're happy with that, I'm then going to get to the pastel blue. Squeeze a bit of that out and that's going to go in the top here. We are still going to be adding a little bit more blue. You've got to be careful that you don't squeeze this. Once you've cured that green, don't squeeze your tip otherwise it will separate. So we are still going to be adding a little bit more blue around the cuticle and apex. So I can fade that on. Look at Oh. Those two colours go so nicely together. Okay, so when you're happy, we can now come in at quite a steep angle and slowly going to press that down. And when you're happy with where that is, Sam comes in with the light. Thank you, darling. You can um, you can use the clips if you want to, so you can clip it into place and then pop it into the lamp. But I can't trust any of my clients. I know for well they'll knock one, so I'll entrust them with a, a little torch for a couple of seconds. Okay, that'll do, Sam. And that can go into the lamp as is. So that's come out the lamp. So we need to release this jaw form. So just a little wiggle, left to right, and that will slowly come off. And then. Make sure you pop it back in the thing. I always forget to pop them back where they came from. So I'm, I'm glad I've got spares. Lots of spares. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a bit of a shape before I add 
the rest of the blue. Too clumsy to be a nail tech. Yeah, I'm going to end up with my hand in paints as well in a minute. Can't be trusted. I need to find, I'm going to go get a job at Tesco's or Aldi or something. Mind you, I'm far too clumsy. They wouldn't have me. Okay, so a little bit more pastel blue. Uh, pop that up round here. Got my slip solution, and I'm just going to make sure that I'm really happy with cuticle, and then just be conscious bringing that down over to that fade that we don't ruin it. So just fill those side walls in a little bit. Okay, so when you're happy, pop that in the lamp. Okay, and I'm using the Kiwi Nail Plate Cleanser. Just gonna wipe this over. And then we just need to file over what we've just added. Just rough that up. Yeah. Okay, so get rid of all of that dust. Right, so let's do our velvet top coat and then we're going to draw a slice of pineapple and a cherry on top as well. Okay, pop that one in the lamp. Right, so for our pineapple, um, I'm going to use the 8mm liner brush. It's definitely one of my favourite brushes, the 8mm liner. I find it so versatile. So, and I'm using the yellow artisan paints. Um, I'm also going to be using the green and the brown as well. So obviously the green and the brown I'm going to be using for the skin. So um, I've, I've popped them, there we go, you can see me now. I've popped them next to each other and I'm just blending the two together in the middle. And once I've got a color that I'm happy with, so you want it dark green, but I didn't want to mix it with black. So, happy with that. So now I'm going to do it over this side. Yeah, let's do it over this side. So I'm just going to do, so it's just a slice of pineapple that I'm doing. Like I say, pop that in just for a flash cure for me, please, Sam. Um, textured. Right, so I'm going to get my yellow and pop that up towards the green, not going to cover it obviously. Okay, when you're happy with that, pop that in the lamp. And then we need a beautiful glossy shiny cherry. So let's use what should we use? Red or neon red? I would use the neon mauve and add a slight bit of black to it. I think that's a very cherry red, that with a little bit of the mauve. Actually, yeah. Tiny little bit of that, just to pink it up. So I'm using the neon red and the neon mauve. And I'm just going to mix those together a little bit. to make a cherry and this sits right on top of the pineapple. I know these fruits. Couldn't get the other ones, could I? What was it? A passion fruit I was calling a passion papaya. Fruit. You actually called it an avocado at one point. And the lime I kept calling it a bloody coconut. Not a coconut, cucumber. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to use the brown as well and what I'm going to do is just right up in this top corner I'm going to do a straight line and I'm going to bring that out at the bottom of the pineapple as well. That is our cocktail stick. Mm -hmm. Right, wipe that in the lamp for me please Sam. I just want to add um, a little bit of white onto the cherry. Have I lent on that? I have a look. So I'm just going to use a teeny, 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 tiny amount of white just to highlight the cherry. And then what I think we're going to do is we'll matte top coat it all, but I'm going to gloss over the fruit. In fact, I 
don't need to mat over at all because I've already matted that nail, haven't I? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to add a tiny little highlight up there like that. Maybe a little bit on the top of there as well. Right, pop that in. Yeah, so I've already done a matte finish over the rest of the nail. So what I'm going to do is just gloss top coat the... When I find it, gloss top coat. Um, the fruit, I think. And that'll make it look a little bit icy. Okay, so I'm going to use a small dotting tool for this. Just to pop that on there. And then do we think a couple of water droplets? in and then I'll, I'll go over those water droplets again just to really bring them out so you only need to flash cure those ones so just 10 seconds in the lamp and then we can go over them again and give mm -hmm. that a full cure so straight over everything that we've just done Okay, and I'm going to be using the Bubblegum Elixir Cuticle Oil on this one. And that is our Blue Water Breeze Cocktail. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below. And more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today you can find on our website which is nelkme.co.uk and I will see you in the next video.